Welcome Prep 1 students. The first unit in our curriculum this year is talking about matter. The characteristics of matter, the construction of matter, and the last lesson will be the atomic structure of matter. Today we will talk about the first lesson in this unit, which is talking about matter and its characteristics. As we said before, that matter is everything around you. We can say that the chair is a matter, the table is a matter, the door is a matter, so it is everything around you. Or we can say that matter is anything that has mass and volume, or it is anything that has mass and occupied a part of a space. So matter is everything that has mass and volume. There are many objects around you. How can we distinguish between them? How can we differentiate between many substances? Objects can be distinguished from each other by physical and the chemical properties. In this lesson, we will study the physical and the chemical properties that we can use to distinguish between objects. First, we will start with physical properties. Substances can differ from each other in their physical characteristics. Physical properties like color, taste, and smell, melting point, hardness, electric conductivity, thermal conductivity, boiling point, and density. We will talk about each one and how can we, we use this property to differentiate between different objects. We will start with color, taste, and smell. If we have silver, gold, and platinum, how can we differentiate between them? Of course, as you see, the silver has silver color, the gold has yellow or golden color, and the platinum is dark or it looks like gray or black color. We can differentiate between them, of course, by color. What about salt, flour, and sugar? All of them has a white color. How can we differentiate between them? We can taste them. We can taste them and we can know the taste of salt, which is different from the, so the taste of sugar. So we can use taste property to differentiate between salt, sugar, and flour. If we have perfume and vinegar, how can we differentiate between them? We can differentiate between uh, vinegar and perfume by smell. So the first property is color, taste, and smell. Color, taste, and smell can be used to differentiate between many objects. Between silver, gold, and the platinum, we can use color. Between sugar, flour, and uh, salt, we can use taste. Between perfume and vinegar, we can use smell. But this property can't be used with oxygen and water, for example. Oxygen and water, both of them colorless, tasteless, and odorless. So we can't use this property to differentiate between them. There are many other properties. Let's talk about the second one, which is density. <coughs> we can say that density is the mass of unit volume of matter the mass of unit volume of matter or we can say that it is the mass of one cubic centimeter of matter let's talk about mass and volume we talked about mass before and we said that mass is the amount of matter in an object and volume is the space occupied by the object so density is the mass of unit volume of matter can you remember what are the units of measuring mass and what are the units of measuring volume? Mass is measured by different units like gram, kilogram, and ton. While volume is you, we use cubic centimeter and the cubic meter to measure the volume. So it's the mass of unit volume. We can replace 
one cubic centimeter we can replace volume unit volume by one cubic centimeter because the unit which is used to measure volume is one cubic centimeter so we can say that density is the mass of one cubic centimeter of matter so again what is density it means that if we want to measure the density of wood we will measure the mass of a cube of wood its, its side lenses our, uh, its side lenses is one cu is one centimeter so it is one cubic centimeter the mass of this one cubic centimeter is the density of wood again density is the mass of unit volume of matter or it is the mass of cubic centimeter one cubic centimeter of matter we can calculate density by a relation between mass and volume we can say that density is mass divided volume and also we remembered now that mass is measured by gram and vol volume is measured by cubic centimeter so we can say that the measuring unit of density is gram per cubic centimeter density is the second property that we can use to distinguish between different objects because each substance has its own density each substance has its own density for example, if we have here two boxes or two cuboids, we can say that they have the same volume, but they are different or they have different masses because these objects are made of different material. One of them is heavier than the other one. They have the same volume, but they have different masses. So we can say that equal volumes of different substances have different masses they are equal volume of different substances have different masses because they have different density because they have different density and we have here one box which is 100 gram and the other one also 100 gram they have the same mass but they have different volumes if you see the volume of the blue one is 1000 milli and the other volume of the red one is 100 milli they have the same mass but they have different volumes so we can say that equal masses of different substances have different volumes equal masses they occupy a different part of a space so equal masses of different substances have different volumes also we can say because they have different densities so density is the mass of unit volume of matter we can calculate density by a relation density equal mass divided volume we can say that equal masses of different substances have different uh, volumes and equal volumes of different substances have different masses because they have different densities if we have a problem what is the density of 35 grams of a substance a cuboid about 25 cubic centimeter in this problem we have the, gra the, the mass which is 35 gram and also we have volume which is 25 gram we can say that density equal mass divided volume so it will be equal 35 divided 25 it will be 1.5 gram per cubic centimeter the measuring unit of uh, density to calculate density we calculate it by the relation mass divided volume if we want to, to calculate the mass mass equal density times volume volume equal mass divided density so we studied the meaning of density the relation by which we can use to calculate density now we will see how can we say that the matter uh, to compare between the density of some different substance for example in this picture we have rock and cork the cork float in the water surface on the water surface while the rock sink in water give reason cork float 
on water surface while rock sink. Cork float because it has density less than water, while rock sink because it has density more than water. So we can say that materials which have higher density than water sink in it. Material which have higher density than water sink in it, such as rock of course, iron nail, metallic coil, while materials which have lower density than water float on its surface. Materials that has lower density than water float in its surface, such as wood, cork, ice and also drops of oil. So we can use density to differentiate between different substances. But we have life application on density. The first one is water is not used to put out or to ex extinguish the petroleum oil fire. Why we can't we, we can't use water to distinguish distinguish mean put sorry not uh, must not distinguish extinguish extinguish mean put off we can't use water because oil or petroleum oil has density less than water so it floats on water surface and the water doesn't put out the fire it has density less than water so it will float and the fire or the water doesn't put out the fire. The second life application is that the balloon which filled with hydrogen or helium rises up in air. The balloon which filled with hydrogen or, he or helium rises up in air. Why? Because the density of hydrogen and helium is lower than or less than the density of air so it flies so again water is not used to put out the petroleum oil fire and balloons full of hydrogen or helium rise up in air carrying flags during festivals the final one is we can use this property which is density to determine determine the change in the density value of matter which taken as an evidence of purity of matter for example to determine the quality of an amount of milk we can measure the mass of milk and also we can measure the volume then find the density by the relation mass divided volume by knowing that the density of milk is 1.03 if the density of this amount of milk is 1.03 so, so it is a pure milk if it is lower or higher than 1.3 so it's not a pure milk so we can use this property which is density to know the purity of some materials by measuring mass measuring volume calculate the density if it is the density so it's a pure substance if it is lower less or more so it is not a pure substance we have a question what is meant by it's a new question it's like defying question what is meant by the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter what is meant by the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter we will replace the word density with the definition of density we will say that it means that the mass of one cubic centimeter of water equals one gram the mass of one cubic centimeter of water equals one gram Then we will move to another property, which is melting point. And I will continue the rest of the lesson in part two. Thank you for listening.